Thank you to Despa58 for their support on Twitch. Another day on the courts, but it looks like there are some heavy clouds rolling in. Practice might be get cut a little short today. I hope it doesn't rain, since I don't have an umbrella with me. Good afternoon, Link! Hey coach, what's the plan for today? More doubles practice for you guys. Next week you'll have your first real doubles match, so I want everyone to be ready. Our first real match? Yep, you guys will be playing against the team from Ferguson Community College. I don't think you'll have any trouble taking them down, but we are still going to be prepared for it. Am I playing with Chester again? Yeah, I'm gonna keep the pairings how they are. That's good to hear, I have fun playing with Link. Yeah, you two played good together, so I want to keep it that way. Again, Spencer will be the only one doing singles, but he's more than ready for it. Everyone is here now, and so we are going to get started. It looks like it might start raining, so we better practice what we can. Chester and Link will be playing against Spencer. Dozer and Darius will be playing against me. Alright you two, here with me today. It'll be decent practice for me too, taking on both of you. <laughs> the fuck was that? I hope you're ready, Spence, because we're going to take you down. <laughs> you can try. A few little rules, though. Like what? No spiking on me, first of all. No spiking on me, first of all. If you win a point, it's going to be by placement and not by powerhousing the ball down my throat. Okay. If you're so good, why do you need handicap? Why do you need handicap? You need to control your strength at times, Chester. You have a bad habit of hitting it too hard while you're at the net, and that costs you points. Oh man, that's no fun! You'll be fine. It's good practice for you to learn ball control and practice your slice some more. I know how mad you got last time you practiced it, so you're going to practice that some more today. Bro. <laughs> You'll do fine, Chester. Just keep it cool and focus. I know you can do it. All right, I'll try. Let's get started, guys. I have to agree with Coach about the weather. It looks like it can start raining if those clouds keep moving towards us. We're still hanging out after practice today, right? Of course, I'm looking forward to it. Right, I've looking, been looking forward to it, too. Any idea what's for dinner? I'm not sure. Maria didn't tell me what she's cooking. Either way, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be great. And I, I get to see your place. Uh, yeah, you will. We get first serve, so do you want to take it? Me? Uh, sure, I'll take first serve. You can't stop me from putting power into my serve. You took your place on the net with Chester at the baseline ready to save. Here comes Spence, first serve. The ball flew past you and Spencer returned it back to Chester. When he hit the ball, he followed it to the net. And when Chester hit the ball, Spencer backhanded it between you and the Bulls, scoring himself the first point. Motherfucker. 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 Just using your strength against you, Chester. You can't rely solely on that. Uh, that was just the first point. I'll get it. The second point started, and Spencer did the exact same thing to Chester. Didn't take much for Spencer to get under Chester's skin. And the next two points, she lost due to Chester serving the ball to the, into the net. Chester, practice is just starting. You can't be angry already. Chester's so smug, though, when you've already lost the first game because I messed up each point. Thinks he's so good and knows everything. Oh, it's just practice, Chester. Don't be so hard on yourself. Relax! Just relax, all right? Have fun, enjoy it while you're playing together. You're right, thanks for keeping me cool. I really shouldn't be so set on just winning the match. There's really pra focus on actually practicing. That's better! The match with Spencer continued and Chester's attitude changed completely. He wasn't hitting the ball as hard as he normally would and uh, he was trying to practice his slice even. It wasn't obvious to Chester, but you noticed Spencer was giving up a point to Chester intentionally right now and then. Oh, that's not nice. Uh, the boost in Chester's ego appeared to help him play better, even if it did make him act a little conky. Corky. See that? My slice actually threw him off! <laughs> Once I get control down, I'll have power and control, and he'll never stand a chance! Yeah, you think so? Keep up the good work, Chester. We're gonna be unbeatable this year if we keep improving and playing like this. Yeah, you're right about the- oh, fuck! I'm glad to see him happy at practice. It makes things much easier on everyone. 
The games continued back and forth, but Spencer kept his lead over the two of you. It was getting windy now, and the balls weren't cooperating with anyone. It was beginning to cause a bit of chaos, especially for Chester. The wind was carrying his shots off the court, or forcing them down into the net. He wasn't getting mad, though, and things were going smoothly until Spencer hit a lob into the wind. Chester was looking up into the sky, trying to position himself with the ball, when... WATCH OUT, CHESTER! OOF! Chester... Oh... 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 Chester smashed into you, falling to the ground on top of you. Most of his weight landed on you, and it knocked the breath out of you. He had rammed you with his shoulder, but when he fell, he turned toward you to try to catch himself, landing with his stomach and chest on top of you. Oh man, uh, you are right, Link? He pushed himself off you and helped you sit up. You could only nod your head at Doz as Dozer rushed over to check on you both. After that blow, you were having a hard time catching your breath. Hey, Cloud9! Thank you for the follow! Yay! Are you guys okay? I saw you two crash. I'm fine, but Link is having a hard time breathing. I, I mean, I ran into him like that, I, then I landed on him. Oh man, what'd I do? Relax, Chester, you just winded him, is all. Link, just try breathing deeply, you'll be fine in a moment. Dozer is a medic, we, so you'll be okay. It's just temporary. Yeah, hit your diaphragm is contracted from the blow. Just breathe. Just as I had down beside you, started to rub your back. Jeez, I'm so sorry. I really screwed up that. Don't worry about it. Chess. Don't bother talking. Just breathe. After a couple of minutes, your breathing returned to normal, but now you had a dull ache in your chest. Okay, I think I'm fine now. Ooh. Take a few more deep breaths for me. You did as those are instructed, and he pressed on your chest while you breathed. Okay, it doesn't feel like anything is wrong. Did it hurt when I pressed on your chest? Just a little. You should be fine then. You might end up bruised, but nothing major. How do you know, Dozer? I'm in school to be a physical therapist, and my mother's a nurse. I'm familiar with a variety of injuries. If you experience lasting pain, though, I'd suggest seeing a doctor. I think you'll be fine, though. I'm so sorry, Link. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to hurt you. I know, Chess. Don't worry about it. You just gotta pay attention to what you're doing on the court. He's right, Chester. You need to be more careful and pay attention to what you're doing. J Spencer, now is not the fucking time. <laughs> this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm an Ofer's klutz. I'm not saying that, Chester. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, he's mad. <laughs> Then what are you saying? It's not like I didn't know how I screw up already, and you seem to like pointing that out! That's not it at all. You're just blowing things out of proportion now. You weren't paying attention, and you hurt Link in the process. Just be more careful going forward. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna side with Chester, because it is his route. Don't mind him, Chess. There was no reason for him to come over and just nag at you. I already said what needed to be said. Yeah, I don't know why he's giving me a hard time. It's because you're going after him and he's thirsty. Spencer's thirsty and you're getting his drink and now he's upset. He's upset, he's spaghetti. Samura Wolf, thank you for the follow. I already knew I screwed up and that was just making me feel worse. Try not to feel too bad about it. I'll be okay. I'll try. I guess we should get back to our game if you're able to. That sounds like a no. On uh, second thought, maybe we should add off. I thought it was really close and I could smell rain moving in. I love the smell of rain. Alright guys, we're stopping for the day. Uh, those clouds are getting really close and it looks like there's lightning too. Everyone can head out now. And as long as the weather is good, we'll continue practice like normal on Friday. Let's get going. and Maybe we can beat the rain. Are you good to walk now? Yeah, I'm good. Let's hurry. And we're back. Oh, it's... Oh, I was like, what the fuck is that? It just sounds like audio fuzz, but no. And the rain came out of nowhere. Look at our KO! William! <laughs> it's a good thing we were stopping by your place first. Yeah, it did. How far away is your home? Uh, most of it we have to walk. For, so from here, it would... Probably... Be 30 to 40 minutes. Oh, that's a lot. 
I'm gonna call Maria and let her know we got stuck in the weather and we won't be making it home for dinner. Maybe we can uh, have that cooking lesson after all. I think I have the stuff for it, so that's not a bad idea. He called Maria to let her know what happened, and she was glad you had avoided being caught in the bad weather. What? She waited your call. You found Chester. Found him. It's it's a fucking apartment. I found him. Oh Jesus. Oh hey. Oh look at the kitchen. It's so nice. She's not mad, is she? Oh no, she's fine. She's just glad we're in a safe place. The weather is supposed to be really getting really bad. She said we could reschedule for another time. Oh, that's good then. And to make things better, I have everything we need to cook tonight, too. So, how about we get cleaned up and then we can get cook get the cooking. Do you have spare clothes in your bag? Yeah, I do. Go get showered up then, I'll shower after you. Got it. I certainly feel better after that shower. Being sweaty, hot, and wet just makes me feel gross. Fucking same, I hate that shit. Doesn't look like Chester's in here or the kitchen. He's probably in his room playing a game or something. Chester? Oh my! Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, you're done. Yep, so it's your turn. I'll try to take too long. Why you wait? Feel free to play my game. It's the one I was showing you the other day. Cool, take your time then. He really has no care about what he wears around me. I don't mind though. I just wish I could stare more. Now time to play this game. I was only watching last time, so I don't really know what to do. I guess I'll just press buttons till I figure it out. You picked up the controller and sat down on the edge of the bed. Chester had already been playing, so you didn't know what to do. Uh, his character was standing on a dirt road surrounded by four, sword in hand. Let's see. Of course, the joysticks made me move, move and such. This button, swing my sword. That button. Last button you press shot out a wave of fire from the character's free hand. So that's magic. I think that's all I need to know for now. Let's go explore! While you explored, you came across a small town. I wonder what I can do. Try to start a fire or steal a chicken. Neither of these are good. <laughs> why, why would you just start burning shit? Also, why would you steal a chicken? I have a feeling that the chicken thing is a Zelda reference in disguise. There are chickens running around everywhere. I wonder if I can pick them up. Sure enough, you can pick up the chicken and it appeared in your inventory. It didn't seem to matter how many you picked up either. They just seemed to spawn endlessly. While you were gathering up the chicken, Chester returned to the room. Oh my. Having fun? You're moving really slow. Open your inventory for a moment. You, you are en encumbered from carrying chickens? How long have you been picking up chickens? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know what else to do. I just wanted to see how many I could carry. <laughs> I made you choose chickens. They were running around everywhere. Oh, boy. Well, at least you won't go hungry anytime soon. You can cook them, at least. And speaking of cooking, it's time to show you how to cook something great. Let's go to the kitchen. I guess he forgot to put on shorts or anything. I don't think I'll mention it though. You ready to see what you'll be cooking today? Yep, what's it gonna be? Spaghetti! Ah! It's spaghetti! That's one! Ow! Ow, my back! Oh, fuck! Spaghetti? And not just any spaghetti, it'll be baked spaghetti! We're gonna keep it somewhat simple though. The only thing you won't be really doing is making the sauce. It takes some time to make, so we're using some I had already made and jarred. Then what'll I be doing? Everything else! Let's get started! I've already pulled out everything we need, so I'll tell you the steps we're going to follow. First, dice your bell pepper and half of the onion. What the fuck kind of spaghetti are you making that requires this many ingredients? We'll then mix that with some cream cheese, uh, and butter them and microwave it. Okay. Next, we'll boil the water and start the pasta. While it's boiling, we'll cook the meat and grease our baking dish. With everything ready, we'll layer it in the dish. Pasta, I hate people who explain shit like this. They just fucking go on and on and on, and then it's like, motherfucker, you gotta talk with me. Pasta veggie mix sauce, and we'll top with cheese before baking it for a short time. Got all that. Vegetables, pasta, meat, combined cheese. Got it. Why do I have a feeling we're gonna have to fucking remember this shit? Alright, just for the sake of being careful, if y'all remember... Vegetables, pasta, meat, combined, cheese. Someone fucking write that shit down, because I don't want to fucking do it. Let's get started, then. Just sit behind you, only watching you as you began. So I start with... 
Oh, fuck you! Alright, so... We got... Thing on stove, looks like sauce, veggies, and a sink. Uh, the first bit was veg, and this says veg, so veg! I'm gonna dice these guys up and start the v Oh, fuck! We were supposed to wash our hands first! Damn it! Wait! HA! We just backed up! First thing first, gonna wash my hands! Yeah! We did it right! <laughs> yeah! God, I'm so glad you thought about that! Even though you just showered, you were using my controller and my sweaty hands were on that last. Yeah, you really shouldn't be preparing food without doing this first. Alright, so we washed our hands. Should we wash them again? <laughs> Alright, so first step is veg. Veg. Alright, I'm gonna dice these guys up and get started on a vegetable mixture. Be careful with the knife. I keep all my blades sharp. Alright, I'll be careful. Ah, oh my god! Oh, fuck! No! Once they're cut up, you said we'll mix it with a cream cheese and butter. Yeah, once it's mixed up, you'll microwave it for about a minute to make it soft. It'll spread easier that way. Gotcha. You start chopping the vegetables with chest of and around you. You could hear him grunt or sigh while he was watching. That is it. He's watching you cut these things up. How about it? You're just so slow. I told you I don't cook much. Give me a break. Yeah, I know. You're doing fine. I'm just messing with you. But watch it, I'm the one holding a knife. He doesn't know how bad my craving for beef is. What the fuck? That is fucked up! That is a really fucked up thing! That is all kinds of fucked up! Oh shit! When the vegetables are diced up, you toss them into the bowl with a block of cream cheese. He ain't gonna do here. How uh, much butter? Well, about a tablespoon. Just use the big spoon there. Alright. But it makes you fully fine already, you set it aside. Uh, that part is done. What's next? Well, we're supposed to microwave it. But there's no microwave. So the only... Are we gonna we'll wash our hands again? <laughs> um... Next is pasta, which I believe is this. Fuck it. Pasta. So I need to boil the water to put the pasta in it. I always toss my pasta in the water and let it heat up with it. Add some salt to the water, put in the pasta and crank the heat up to get it boiling. See, I do that too and everyone's like, Oh, you gotta be into boiling first. You don't know. Like, you get stuck to the bottom of the thing, man. You gotta be even. That's what the salt is for, asshole. I don't know when it's done. I just fish out a noodle and eat it to see how tender it is. Again, I also do that. Easy enough. You yeah, fill the pot with water, add it in some salt, and dumped in a box of noodles before turning on the heat. I can let that start boiling and start on the next step. So, what's next? Uh, well, after the pasta comes the meat, and I assume this bucket of viscous blood mesh placenta is meat, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just assume that's it. The meat needs to be cooked now. Alright, just crumble the meat into the pan and set it to medium-high heat. Season it with some garlic salt and brown it all the way through. Just stir it enough where it won't stick to the pan. Alright, and while that's cooking, I should grease the dish we're baking it in. Yeah, just spray a light coat of oil in the dish, that'll do. Alright, things are really smelling good in here. I agree, I'm getting really hungry and the smell isn't helping. Well, it's, uh, it's almost done. All right, so the last thing is combine. So I guess that'd be finish. Would that be finish? Is that I can't? There's nothing else to choose. That's pasta. That's meat. That's vegetables. That's wash your hands. I'm going all around this fucking screen. I played. I played fucking pajama Sam. I know what it is to search. Nothing else is doing. So do I click finish? I trust everything's prepared. The vegetable is ready, the pasta fell down when I tested it, and the meat looks done too. Looks like you're all set for the last step. Time to layer this bad boy and toss it in the oven. I'm sure you can handle that. Can do. So what goes down first? Oh shit. So I'm saying pasta. Fucking boom. Pasta goes in first because everything else goes on top. Do I just dump the pasta in? Yeah, you don't have to do anything other than dump it in and spread it out. Yes! Logic! Everything else go on top of that. Vegetable mix, then sauce right after that, right? Yep, just spread it out evenly over the pasta and we can toss it in the oven. After putting the cheese on top? Oh yeah, after that. 
Uh, well, I only have to cook until the cheese is melted and bubbly, and then we can eat. That won't take too long. And I'll go ahead and finish it up. It looks really good. I can't wait to try it. Looks like it'll turn out great. I'll get the oven heated up while you're finishing up. You didn't preheat! Bitch, you call yourself a chef, you don't know how to preheat an oven? You carefully assembled the food in the dish before topping it with cheese and sliding it into the oven. Why the fuck did he need to fade away just to come back? It shouldn't take but maybe 15 minutes to do to finish cooking, then we can eat. Oh, he smells so good, I'm sure it'll taste great too. I hope so. I can't believe you made me do everything by myself. It would have been much faster if you'd have done it, you'd have just done it and showed me. You wouldn't have learned as much that way. Doing it like this, you should at least remember where to put where, uh, where enough to do uh, you can do it again. Maybe. Let's decide that when it's done cooking. Okay. You join Chester in the living room to watch TV, and why the fuck does the rain sound effect need to happen? Hi, Yeah, and uh, the food is done cooking. 15 minutes passed by, and Chester went to check on the food. Link, come get the food out of the oven. It's ready. Here are some oven mitts. Please don't bind yourself. No guarantee, but I'll try not to. Carefully, you pulled the food out of the oven and placed it on the counter. Oh, it looks so good. I don't even want to let it cool. I just want to dig in right now. <laughs> and you told me not to burn myself. I've eaten food fresh like this before, and I know that is not a good idea. I burned my mouth plenty of times because I couldn't wait to eat. Well, we'll give it a few minutes. If you want to go sit down, I'll dish out when it's ready to eat. But I'm the one cooking, so shouldn't I do that? Well, if you insist, the plates are in the cabinet over there, and here's a knife and spatula. I'm sure you can gauge when it's cooled off enough to eat. I got it, you go sit down. Will do. Wait another about five minutes before you cut the food, scooping out generous amounts of will yourself and Chester. Ah, right, Chester, come eat. Finally! Looks so good and smells driving me mad and salivating just thinking about it. Um. Well, sit down and eat. You don't have to tell me twice. Well, I fucking did, so. Just sat down and grabbed his fork, wasting no time uh, in scooping the food into his mouth. Oh, yeah, it's perfect to try out. Great. It's just right, Link. Really? Uh, you tasted the food and you were surprised to find it tasted as good as he said. Hey, it's not bad at all. It tastes pretty good. Good, it's delicious. You really did a great job. It tastes almost as good as it would have if I'd have made it. <laughs> Is that so? Almost as good, huh? Well, I wouldn't expect it to be as good as mine, but it's damn near close! Okay, okay, I get it. It's my first time, so let me have that. I'm glad it turned out good, at least. I'll have to make it again for you, only I'll uh, may make it even better than what you could do. Oh, you could only hope to make it as good as mine. I'll make it for you just so you can see. I'll look forward to that, then. Chester finished his food long before you did and vanished into the kitchen. You could hear dishes clinking and water running, so you only assumed he was cleaning. You done eating? Yeah, I've had plenty. Here, I'll take your plate. You can go watch TV or something, and I'll join you in a moment. I'm almost done in here. I was the one cooking, so I should be the one doing dishes. Not this time. You cooked, so I'll clean. You relax. Alright, then. I'll be in the living room. I wonder what else Chester has in mind. I don't really think about anything other than dinner. Jesse joined you eventually on the couch. He's still pouring outside. I wonder if it's gonna let up. I hope it does. I really don't want to have to walk home in the rain. You think I'd let you to win the weather alone when we have one of them? You think I'd leave you here? You think I'd let you leave in this weather knowing what that. You think I'd let you leave in this. <laughs> Fuck! You think I'd let you. <laughs> Why is this line my fucking kryptonite? Like, I don't fuck up any other times. You think I'd let you leave in this weather knowing that you'd be have walk- FUCK IT! WALK HOME! <laughs> if it doesn't stop, you're just gonna have to stay here tonight. I really don't want to impose on you and your brother, though, Chess. Well, he's fine with that, too. He'd be mad at me if I let you leave in a storm- when it was storming like this. And if you insist, I'll stick around and see what happens. Of course. Yeah, come on, let's go back to my room and watch a movie. Can we watch one out here? Oh, well, I, I have uh, one on Blu-ray to watch on my system. We can't watch it out here. Oh, I see. Well, let's go to your room, then. And make yourself comfy on the bed. I'll get the movie ready. Okay. Yeah, I've done the bed and leaned against the headboard. Chester had leaned over in front of you preparing the movie. His tail was swaying against his butt, and your attention was drawn to that while Chester was busy. The fabric was stretched tight against his backside. I don't mind watching this. It's a really great view. 
I can only imagine what it's like underneath. Hey, you listening to me? Uh, what's up? He was looking over his shoulder at you. You wondered if he knew what you were been doing. Do you want the light on or off? Do you mind leaving it on? I don't. I'd rather it be on too. Less eye strain. Chester jumped on the bed and laid on his side, propped up on his elbow beside you. So what are we watching? It's just I just got this movie earlier today. It's from an anime I really like, but I don't really follow the main story at all. It got good reviews online, so I expect it to be pretty good. Maybe you'll enjoy it too. If it's like what you've shown me though so far, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. He sat up next to you with his arms crossed over his chest and his legs stretched out next to yours. The movie started and it didn't take long for it to draw you in. You are so focused on the movie you hadn't even noticed Chester inching closer to you until you bumped your leg against his. Oh my, that's practically sex. You know, it's basically the same thing. It was now at that time you noticed there was almost no space between you now. When your leg hit his, neither of you made an effort to move. Oh my. His fur felt nice against your legs. You don't didn't mind. You yawned wide and rubbed your eyes. Is it boring you? What no, I'm just a bit tired is all. I have a full stomach and I'm relaxed. I really like the movie so far. <laughs> okay. I didn't want you to be bored. Well, if you want, you you can lean against me and rest. You you don't mind. No, uh -huh. it's okay. Uh -huh. Sure, it's better than leaning against the wall, right? You're right about that. You lean against Chester, laying your head against his shoulder while watching the movie. It, it isn't a bother, is it? It's fine. You all right? Yeah, thanks. You're really putting out a lot. He was really putting out a lot of heat, and he continued to shift his body around. Are you sure it's uh, you're all right, Chester? Oh, it's just... My hands fall off, fell asleep. It's wedged in a weird way between us. Why didn't you say something already? You were comfortable. Well, make yourself comfortable, too. Oh, okay. Just to raise his arm from beside you and put it around your shoulders, resting a hand on your arm. He rolled his wrist around several times, and you could hear his fingers crackling. Is, is this okay? If you're more comfortable, then it's okay with me. Yeah? But, all right. His fidgeting stopped, and he sighed. You could feel him pull you closer, and he was rubbing his hand up and down your arm. He showered earlier, but his armpit is next, right next to my face, and he's smelling a bit musky. Again with the musk! Why? Oy vey. I guess he, he did say he tends to have a strong scent, but it's so intoxicating. No! It's... No, it's not! Ew! Uh, you barely focus on the movie. It's becoming so distracting. And, oh, oh man, Ch Chester. Chester had, be, had to be oblivious to it, but the bull's underwear was starting to tent up. Oh my! <laughs> oh shit! It was beyond you how much how he had noticed his underwear growing tight around his crotch. He stared for a moment longer and it was beginning to have a similar effect on you. Um, Chester. What is it, Link? You, uh, really getting into this movie, huh? Ah, that's really good. Why do you... His eyes caught yours glancing down, and in an instant he grabbed a pillow and pulled it into his lap. Oh, Jesus. Rolling off the edge of the bed right after. Thud! Oh my god, I, I don't want to happen, Link. I'm so sorry. I can't believe this. Are you okay? You hit your nightstand when you rolled away. Don't worry, I'm fine. Just stay over there. Chester. He slid over the edge of the bed to look at Chester. He was curled up in the fetal position, hugging the pillow. Just let me die here. <laughs> Dramatic much? I'm so embarrassed. Just, just knock the nightstand over on my head. Jeez, just end me. What the fuck? Okay. So... <laughs> God damn. So, uh, the options are tell him it happened to you too, or comfort him. Everyone's saying comfort, so I'm gonna go with comfort. Boom. Alright, oh, don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it, Chess. It kinda happens to guys when we're not expecting it. Uh, it could've happened at a worse time. It really it should've been wearing more than just my underwear. Eh, that wouldn't have helped much. You're... You're kind of big, Chess. And, well, 
I certainly don't mind what you're wearing. What? I'm saying that! It should look good in what you're wearing. Do... Do you think I'm attractive? Oh shit. <laughs> There's yes and very yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there have been a few votes for damn right, but I'm going to say of course. Of course I do, Chester. I always thought you were attractive. R really? Yeah. You can be pretty cute, despite the anger. Link. Well, then, I guess, um... Well, would you like to, you know... What? Now? What if your brother comes back? No! <laughs> Not, not that. I'm trying to say is, as I, I would like to spend more time with you. More? We spend a lot of time together as it is, though. We, we share a couple classes. I see you at practice. Not like that, Link. I mean, just the two of us doing something. I want to get to know you better. What are you saying, Chester? I, uh, well, I. Jeez, why are you making this so hard for me? Well, haven't I made it obvious? What? I just... I've been feeling so alone for a while now. I hate it. I... I want some kind of companionship with someone. Being around you, I feel so much happier. I don't feel alone. You... You just want to be with someone? Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then... Why me? If you just wanting to be with someone because you really seem like a good guy you've shown patience with me even when I get mad and I know that can be frustrating and well I I think you're really good looking too I, I mean you saw what happened it kinda just happened though you even said you were really into the movie yeah but are you sure about your feelings? And it's not just hormones. Make it sound like all you want is someone to have sex with. Damn it, Link! I like you! I don't want to have sex with you! Of all people, you should know me and that there's more than that. He sighed heavily, pacing back and forth in front of you. You should know better than that. I, I thought you would know that's not what I want. Oh man, that's right. With what he's been through, how stupid can I be? Aw, oh, shit! It just, it sounded like you wanted me just for that. I, I'm so surprised at the sudden feel. I'm just surprised at the sudden feelings. I didn't think about it much. I'm so sorry, Chester. I, I wasn't thinking. Clearly! Why is it the first thing anyone assumes that I want sex? That's not all I'm about! Even Andrew! That's the first thing that comes to mind when I hang out with people. I'm not one of those guys that only thinks with his dick. He was clenching his fists while he was walking back and forth. He was snorting, breathing heavily through gritted teeth. We were afraid he was going to punch something. Chester, calm down, please. I'm really sorry. I know I said something stupid. What else do you want me to say? He stopped pacing and stared at you. I feel terrible for saying that, okay? I do know you better than that. Then why... Why would you think that's all I wanted from you? You just... Made it sound like that's all you wanted. Is that really it? Well, I, I did see the receipt from when you bought food for the past weekend. The receipt for... Oh, oh man. You saw that? Yeah, I saw it while you were in the bathroom. I was looking at your cards on the nightstand. I was, it was laying right there with them. Just as I sat down on the bed and put his face in his hands. No wonder. Did you plan on something happening that night? I, I don't know. I didn't even know if you'd be interested. It was an impulse buy. I, I guess I was hoping something would happen. God, this is a huge mess I've made. Huh. You're not all to blame, Chess. I, I could have handled it better, too. You could say we're both to blame here. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm sorry I get angry, Link. It's just so hard for me to put these feelings into words. The feelings just bottled up inside me, and I've had no idea how to express them. It was just really making me mad, not being able to put it into words, and then what you said, I just snapped. I just... I just... I want someone to call I can call mine. So 
someone I can share anything with. Someone that makes me happy to just be around. And I really want that someone to be you, Link. I trust you. That's something to not be taken lightly. And being able to say that I trust you with to myself is enough for me to know that you're someone I'd like to be with. So, Chester, what you're saying is... is yeah, I am. I'm not saying that I want you to be my boyfriend. I'm- oh shit, he is saying that. Sorry. I'm saying I want you to be my boyfriend, Link. I, are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. What do you say? I- I would say yes. Like, right off the bat. And I already saw a couple of people saying date him. People saying date him. I mean, he opened himself up to you. If you said no at this point, it'd be kind of dumb. Uh, so... <laughs> We are on this route, so I'm not even going to wait for you guys to chime in. Yes! Yeah, Chester, I'll take you up on that. Really? You're going to give me a chance? Why wouldn't I? I do like you, too. I've enjoyed the time I've spent with you. And you really trust me enough to give me that chance. I can't let that pass by. I'm still not sure what I want, either. But I want to try this. I've... Never been in a relationship before, so it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, same here. We'll learn together. Yeah, then I guess that settles it. You're my boyfriend. Yeah, seems so. <laughs> Sounds odd to say that. It does to me too. But it has a nice ring to it. Well then, uh, how about we finish watching the movie? <laughs> I think I need to rewind it. We've missed a good bit of it. Uh, yeah, we should finish it. I was really liking it. Were you? It's got some really good- Oh shit! It's got a really good, uh, great animation style, and the fight scenes are so awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You said this is based around an anime you like, too? Yep, I guess I'll have to show you that sometime, too. Sounds like a good idea, Chester. I like, I like that. Just grabbed his remote and rewound the movie to a point before you guys became distracted. Uh, once more, you two sat back down on the headboard of the bed, against the headboard of the bed, like you had been before the movie started. So, you want to get comfortable again? If, if you want. Uh, it was pretty comfortable how we were. Yeah, same here. And I think I'll be fine this time. He raised his arm up so you could lay over against him before resting his uh, hand on your arm. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Alright, let's finish this movie. You found yourself to be less distracted now that he had been earlier, and Chester seemed more relaxed, too. The movie played on and came to an end after another hour. For the whole time, though, you laid against Chester, enjoying the warmth of fur against you. When it came to an end, Chester turned off the TV and leaned forward with his hands in his lap. What did you think? It was great. I really want to watch the rest of the series now. If you want, we can start watching it now in the living room. Yeah, let's watch a couple of episodes then. Sure. He rolled off the bed and stretched with a wide yawn, scratching his belly. I can't believe it's still raining outside too. I, I can't believe I've been listening to this fucking sound effect for so goddamn long. Christ. It doesn't seem like it's gonna let up. I guess that means I'll be staying over here tonight. Yeah, you will be. I'll go ahead and get some pills and a blanket for you from the closet. Unless you'd rather sleep right here with me. Oh, well, I think... Ah, uh... oh, here he is! <laughs> of course! Of course he shows up right now! Hey, Chester, I'm home! Oh, Andy's back. Is it late already? <laughs> I'd like to sleep in here with you. Hey, Andrew. Oh, hello, Link. I wasn't expecting you to still be here. Chester wouldn't let me leave in this weather, since I'd have to walk most of the way home. I see. At least Chester can have some common sense sometimes. Except for now, with his lack of shorts while he has a guest over. Be glad you didn't walk in on what I was wearing earlier, then. And just sighed and rubbed his brows. <laughs> I can only guess. He didn't subject you to whatever he's talking about, did he? Oh, Christ, Chester, have some decency. Go put some shorts on. I'm comfortable. Go! 
He'll never learn, will he? Probably not, but what can you do? Nothing with him. I've tried for years. So what have you two been up to? Practice was cut short because of the rain, so we came here. Chester taught me how to cook baked spaghetti. Well, you can, we put some of that up for you, by the way. Oh, great. I'm starving. Aside from that, all we've done is watch some anime movie he got. We were about to watch something else in here when you showed up. That's all? I see. Well, you two have fun. I'm gonna eat, then turn in for the night. I suppose you're sleeping on the couch again tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be on the couch. Just making sure. I don't want you to. D I don't want to disturb you when I get up in the morning. <laughs> okay. Something tells me he was getting at something elsewhere. I hope he's happy now. I mean, literally, it obstructs nothing. It looks just as big as before. <laughs> I'm sure he will be chess. He's eating now, so we can start watching the anime. It's all he been like after all. Yeah, I figured. I'll grab that, and you can make yourself comfortable on the couch. He sat down, and Chester returned shortly with a blanket and a couple of pillows in his hands. He threw the pillows at you, and you then tossed the blanket on top of you after. There you go. That should do it for tonight. Let's get the show started now. Chester fell down on a couch beside you and once more put his arm around your shoulder. He didn't bother asking this time. He turned on the TV and started up the anime you planned on watching. Episode 1 hadn't even finished when Andrew walked through the living room, making Chester jump and pull his arm around <laughs> from around you right away. Jesus Christ. Andrew didn't say anything, and he gave you a suspicious look when he walked away. Chester sighed and leaned away from you, prop <laughs> propped against the other arm of the couch now. Episode after episode rolled by, and you were starting to get sleepy. You looked at Chester, and he had already, already fallen asleep with his arms crossed and his head leaning forward. The blanket you had wasn't too big, but you slid over to Chester and draped the blanket over the upper half of his body, and then laid your head against his shoulder and pulled the remaining blanket over yourself. Didn't take long before, before you drifted into a peaceful slumber.